at a recent client meeting when I saw a presentation by Yahoo where they, they kind of have this, what I call the crack bag of free social media that they go about handing out to clients now. You know, oh, hey, just have a little social media, it costs you nothing until next year. <laughs> I am very confused and confounded by social media. Uh, I'm serious about this, and I am in a constant um, state of stress because I have a, yeah, I am. Uh, you never know, it, but I am. I have a uh, publication called realchicago.com. I have a current iteration, the new one, and it has cost me more money than I had anticipated. I'm investing more time. I am learning more things that I never knew existed, and I'm totally confounded by it, to be perfectly honest with you. But in a good way, it sounds. I don't know yet. Um, <laughs> well, you're learning something every day. I'm learning at great expense. Everyone is a journalist now. Yeah. Oh, yes. The rules of journalism yeah. are gone. Yeah. They're wow. dismissed. They don't exist. You say what you feel. You say anything. Bizarre works. The more bizarre, the better. The more attention that you get. But you and I cannot be bizarre. bizarre. No, we can't because we we were trained in a different way. Who said it, the quote, where you got it from, the source, that was all important at one time. It is not important anymore. Can social media free us from all this talk about gender? You look at other media distribution outlets, right? They were controlled heavily by men, okay? The publishing industry, the broadcasting industry, mail, 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 mail. If you look at the media of social media, the first thing that I, I was lecturing at the University of Michigan yesterday and I asked the students and I said, what is the media of social media? And they all went, oh, it's the internet. I said, no, it's you and you and you and you. And it's actually been quantified is that the bulk of this new media is actually empowered and driven by women. But, and I think very much one of the reasons that does happen is because you can't put a face on a lot of social media, right? So what you're facing is not that first filter of, oh, it's a man, it's a woman, should I listen to what they're saying? It's just the word. And that allows us to be heard first and then reviewed second.